Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make modded wood with an exploit that I made called Agar Executor. So go to my website, the link is in the description, agarsplits.weebly.com and it's very simple, all you have to do is download my executor, Agar Executor 1.5, just download it, here it is, click on this and then drag this to your desktop, Agar Executor, the file to your desktop, just like that. And also, you're going to want to click the down arrow on my website and click scripts. Find Blood UI, click launch Blood UI and paste bin. On here, click Control A on the keyboard and then copy all of the scripts. So it should all be blue. Just copy the entire script. Minimize that. So here is the file for my exploit. Go ahead and double click it. Run the Agar Executor application. It's this. It should have this little logo on it. So double click it. And this should pop up. This is just preventing it from running an unrecognized app. It's okay. But anyway. So simply click attach. This should pop up. Click OK. Click clear. And in this bottle box, make sure it's highlighted. Click Control and the letter V as in Victor. So click V, Control V to paste the script into here. And it should be in there. So now click Execute and go full screen on your Roblox game. You'll get all of this stuff saying that blood is now loaded and whatnot. And now simply open blood from the top. Click this little box down here, click wood menu, click port to trees, and click your type of wood, so I'll click blue wood, and cut down a tree that you want to make into your glitched wood. I'm going to cut down a small tree because I don't want to make a glitched wood that big. I'll cut down this tree. So just cut it down is that it's the uh, so basically once you have it cut down hit waypoints and click spawn and you'll be teleported back to the wood rs place come over here to the wood drop off area once you're over here at the wood drop off click wood menu and click mod wood Basically click it until you get a piece that can fit into a sawmill. So I got this piece first try, which is pretty lucky. But if you don't, hit mod wood again until you get a piece that can fit into a sawmill. And then bring the piece that fits into the sawmill to your base and put it in your sawmill. So I'll walk over here to my base and put it in my sawmill. Right over here. So you guys see how small this piece is, a blue wood. So we're going to put it into the sawmill. And you're going to see what will happen. I'm going to move my sawmill so it has more room to spit it out if it needs it. Over here. Make sure it's set to the largest setting. Put the little piece of wood in that fits into the sawmill. And just wait a minute. Okay, and now it'll start spinning out your glitched wood, and it'll get rid of all that wood over there, and it'll start spinning out your bit of glitched wood that you just made. So there it is. I got my glitched wood. Simple as that. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it. And yeah, you got your piece of glitched wood. It's really easy. All you have to do is follow those steps and you can make giant pieces of glitched wood like this. Just make sure you got plenty of room for it to spit out so it's not going to run into anything. 
But yeah, that's how you get glitched wood. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>